All right, everyone. Uh, once again, thank you. I want to introduce our next uh, featured guest, Norman Hallett, uh, joining us here at the Cyber Expo. Thanks, everyone, for sticking around for all the speakers. Uh, I know it's been a long day, but obviously we obviously need to save Norman Hallett for the, for the end because he's actually one of the, I would say, the greatest uh, uh, motivators when it comes to psychology part of it and tells you everything about about being a disciplined trader because I know that's something that we all all need and Norman is world renowned and I and I say world renowned I mean honestly he really is he's a great motivator I've seen him do presentations I've learned several things from him myself and I know a lot of the presenters here today have been watching Norman for a long time and I know some of you here probably know him very well and have watched a lot of his uh, little videos that he's done here and there. So um, just once again, everyone, uh, I'm just, he's going to be talking for about less than an hour, and that will be ending our presentation for the Cyber Expo. So here I just want to introduce Norman Hallett. I want to pass the ball to him, everyone. Uh, let's give him a round of applause. And uh, once again, the stage is all yours, Norman. Uh, just want to check the chat. Can uh, everybody uh, see? Just want to make, say, make sure that everybody can hear just anybody. Type in and say, oh, okay, Jose, that's all I need. Arroyo. They used to make me pronounce in Spanish class because I could pronounce my R's or roll them like that. Hope you liked it. This is a, I'm sure this, to some of you, uh, hearing my voice is a shock after the uh, twang of Tom Busby from Alabama. You're now hearing New York. Uh, well, you, we heard uh, Fausto with a little bit of New York in there. So, Hope I don't shock you too much, but today we're going to talk about uh, a trader time system. And this, this system is something that I've adjusted from a time system that was presented to me as an entrepreneur. And um, there's a guy named Dan Sullivan. In, uh, he, he runs a firm called Strategic Coach, and he's one of the, if not the best, entrepreneurial coach in the world. I pay this guy $20,000 a year to sit in on a class every quarter, to hear his techniques and his um, way of keeping uh, entrepreneurs productive. I consider you as a trader, me as a trader, we are entrepreneurs, and we need to think and act like entrepreneurs. Uh, if you come to the table every day in your trading and you're you feel you're taking a shot. You want to see how, how well you do today in the market. It's good maybe that you're focusing on your daily activity. But I think most traders, uh, you really need to, in fact, all traders, you need to have a long-term vision of what you're doing. Uh, you need to approach this as any entrepreneur would approach their business. This is a business trading. And, um, you know, we need to take it very seriously. And today we're going to talk about controlling your time. When I work with traders, I'm... I'm, I, well, I'm no longer surprised, but uh, I, I used to be surprised that uh, there's a lot of bleeding in in life. Uh, a good, my wife used to say to me, uh, she could tell when I left my office, my trading office at the house, she could tell whether I had a good day or a bad day based on how I was uh, responding and, and uh, responding to her questions and just had just my body language. Uh, now, in the last though, 15, 20 years, she can't tell one way or the other because I've become more attuned to visioning the long term, taking care of the short term, but understanding that trading is a process. It's a marathon and not a sprint. So uh, the trader time system is something that I developed or, or I've adjusted from a time system developed by Dan Sullivan and his entrepreneurial time system. So let's get into it because this is all about being balanced as a trader, which is something that a lot of us lack. Uh, so as, um, as an official statement, the trader time system, uh, maximize your trading success by balancing your trading preparation, your trading focus, and almost most of all your free time, believe it or not. Traders need free time getting away from the market. We're going to go through that a little bit more. Uh, based, this is, again, based on the entrepreneurial time system created by my now friend and mentor, Dan Sullivan of Strategic Coach. He calls me his brother from another mother. So uh, that's actually a pretty good compliment if you know Dan. Uh, there are three types of days 
in the life of a trader as I see it, as I live it, and how many of you I'd like to see adopt this type of a trading, a trading time system, trader's time system. It's a focus day. A focus day is a day where, where your, tra is, is your time when you're trading. Uh, it's, it's the moment in time and the, the period of time where you're executing your trading plan. The, then there are buffer days. The buffer days, and we're going to go through these individually in detail. Buffer days are days that you're preparing for your focus days or doing the things that you prepare for your free days. Free days is where you get away from trading altogether and, uh, and, and allow your mind to breathe. And while breathing, it grows. It comes up with the kinds of ideas that you normally would not get. Now, as an entrepreneur, uh, you come up with, with ideas about your business and so on. And, and as, an, as you see yourself as an entrepreneur in your trading, which you're going to, you're going, this is the time where you move away from your trading and you come up with, your, your mind will deliver to you um, the kinds of revelations that you don't get when you're on top of things and have your mind involved in your trading and trading process. So let's go through now each one of these, um, these types of days individually. Again, well, again, if I haven't said it, these days are not to be mixed. Uh, when you have a foot, when you're trading, when you're, when you're doing buffer activities, when you have a free day, uh, the, the, the best thing you can do, and this is the tough part in the beginning when you start exercising these kinds of days, is to, not, to try not to have one type of day bleed into another type of day. Okay, uh, let's talk first about focus days. This is where, we, this is where the pedal goes to the metal and we, we make money. These are days where we focus on our trading only. We, it's about executing your trading plan, period. Uh, so many traders, uh, depending on the success or failure of their trade or trades in a particular day, will start to have thoughts of, of um, changing their trading plan, especially on uh, on positive, on negative days where you, you think that maybe you you have two or three days in a row that are losing, you start to think that, hey, maybe it's my trade, maybe the trading plan no longer is uh, responsive to the types of markets that I'm trading. Maybe I need to kind of sit back and, and, and wait. This is not the time to be really having those kinds of thoughts. Focus days, day, when you're trading, you need to do one thing, execute your trading plan. And that's all you, you do, thoughts, apart from the, ex from the proper execution to the T of your trading plan, takes away from your effectiveness as a trader. This is where you miss trades, you, 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 you start to adjust exit points because you're trying to get back of what you've lost. Now the fourth trade starts to win and you think, well, maybe this is a good time for me to uh, go ahead and uh, uh, capture some of that uh, money back that I lost. You know, let trades go on um, more than you, than you should because you're thinking about how, the tra how your trading plan may or may not need to be adjusted. On focus days, you're there to do one thing, execute your trading plan. There's plenty of time for adjusting your trading plan on buffer days, okay? Mental vitamins, uh, I, like to, I, like to, I like to take mental vitamins, and we have a mental vitamin for it. It's actually free. If you care to go to uh, thedisciplinetrader.com, um, if you just go to the the uh, homepage of the disciplinetrader.com, you'll see a, a, an offer will pop up where you'll see the, where you get the mastery minutes. It's also an app on, on, a, on your, if you have an iPhone, we have a mastery minute for traders app where I've, what it is is I've, I recorded 25 one minute audio uh, presentations, really focusing on one specific thing about trading applicable to focus days. And it's, it's really a motivational 60 minutes or 60 seconds. So uh, it's something that won't take a lot of time out of your life, but it, it's like a mental vitamin. It gets you pumped and focused 
pump for your focus, really. Uh, and it, yes, it, cover, it covers a specific topic. It may cover uh, something like consistency or patience or uh, f focusing on uh, not, not having, having the strength to take the signals when your trading plan gives it to you. It, it has a particular area of focus uh, on each of the 60, 60 second presentations, but it, it, it's going to, it builds in that 60 seconds and it winds up leaving you with a, a really positive mental view of your day and your trading. So I recommend that, that you start your focus days with some sort of a positive attitude type of a process, okay? Uh, also, you need to, to be journaling before and after your trading. Um, it, you, you, you need to maintain the key strengths the key trading strengths, like patience, consistency, and focus. Journaling is something that I find most traders give lip service to, but they don't really, um, they, they don't really do it religiously. It really, it's one of the most important things that you, can, that you, you need to do for your trading. Uh, and, and I'll give you a tip. If you're not out there journaling, uh, and it, strangely enough, I don't journal my my trades on a daily basis. I will review my trades on a daily basis um, by looking at my daily statement. But I let my monthly statement give me that, – that's really where I, I take a look at my trades in general and uh, go, go back to looking at possible areas of, of, uh, of changing things. But I – what I journal and what I believe that you need to journal if you're not are, is your mental and emotional – uh, condition during your trading. I mean, your trading plan is your trading plan. You should be following that to a, to a T. Uh, journaling is what helps you. You should do, do everything before your trading to stay focused on your trading plan. And mental vitamins is one thing. Journaling is another thing. If you're not journaling, keep, let me give you a tip about journaling. Uh, I'll give you a, a, a simple technique for journaling. When you, at the end of the day, you should be journaling twice a day. At the end of the day, you need to identify the good things that you've done in your trading and the things that you need improvement. Now, you notice I didn't say bad things, in, bad things that you've done. You need to maintain a positive environment about you and your ability to be a successful trader. And if you are a successful trader, to continue in that momentous state of being a positive trader. And to do that, you need to, you, you, it's, it's good to recognize where you need improvement, but being harshly critical. I've seen journals where people, where, where people write, you know, I was a jerk that day, or I should, did the same damn thing each time. You gotta leave those kinds of words and thoughts out. Doesn't mean you're not being honest with yourself. My journaling looks more like today, today I followed my trading plan to the T with one slip up. I, I did what, I, what is, and I give myself an out by saying an un-Norman-like un -Norman -like event happened or something, I, I was beside myself, and I didn't take, I didn't take the signal on the second trade that, that was supposed to be the second trade. Tomorrow, I will focus intently on taking every signal that my trading plan gives me. And I always end with, I'm a wise and disciplined trader, and I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. Because I think that wisdom is much more important than being, there's a lot of smart people out there, but there's not a lot of wise people. A lot of, a lot, wisdom is something that I'm always striving for. So I like, to, I like the expression, anybody that's trained with me knows that uh, we all say that we're, we're a wise and disciplined trader and we do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. So what I've done essentially, and I'm, I'm giving you a lot here without a whole lot of detail, but I've, 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 I've given myself a compliment up front. I talked, I, I'm, I made a statement about an unnorman like thing that I did, something that is not usually like me, uh, an unlike me, and then I, I state where I need my improvement, make a statement of the next day that I will focus and improve that area, and then I, uh, then I make the statement of a more wise and disciplined trader, and I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. Now, the next day, the next morning before I start trading, what I do is now I do it in the in the sense uh, I do my journaling first, then I do my mental vitamin, the 60 second um, 
60 second uh, pump up of the uh, of the mastery minute, and then and I do them randomly. The mastery minutes are different topics. I I like to kind of do them randomly. This way, I figure you know the universe is giving me what I need that moment in time. So um, so, so what I do is on the, on the next morning, the first statement I wake is today I will today I am the entrance king. I take every signal that my trading plan gives me without hesitation. I'm, I will prove that again today. I'm a wise and disciplined trader. I will do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. Okay, so what I did was I took that weakness, that, that mistake that I made the day before my journaling, I make it my upfront statement in my morning journaling to kind of bring it right back and recommit to, the, to, the, to, to whatever mistake or weakness that I showed in my trading from a mental and emotional standpoint the day before. So again, that is a, if you're not journaling, please, uh, try this technique. It's only going to take you two minutes at the end of your of your trading, and it's going to take you 60 seconds in the beginning of your trading to do it. And I like to journal by longhand. Uh, I I really would like I would really like to see you get even if it's a loose leaf piece of paper. I mean loose leaf a booklet, a uh, spiral like like you like when you were a kid in college, um, spiral notebook. Or I like actually what I use uh, when I'm not using I use uh, now I use our leather bound trading journal that we we have for all the students but I used to use just a black you know that black and white kind of uh, notebook it's kind of cardboard you know what I'm talking about uh, use that because when you write when you write you're using your kinesthetic senses. You're seeing what you're writing, so you're using your visual. And I like to even whisper as I'm, as I'm writing down, I'm a wise and disciplined trader, and I'll do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. And so, so what's happening is you're building neural pathways in each one of those modalities. Uh, tactile, you're written, you're kinesthetic. That's when you use, that's touch. You're doing it because you're, you're, see, you're seeing the written word, and you're whispering it to yourself, so you're getting the audio. So I'm a wise and disciplined trader, and I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. And so that is, and, and by using the three, or by using the three different sessions, what, what's happening is that you're introducing these neuro neuro pathways with each of these uh, with each of these modalities. If you if you're typing, uh, you can you can do it, but uh, in those modalities, but you're going to wind up seeing that writing it is a much more base function. Okay, so let's now go on uh, to buffer days. You pretty much have, uh, let me stop right here and just make sure your composition notebook is correct. Chris, do, do, you, do you get the gist of what a focus day is? Is everybody kind of clear on that? It's a day you trade, you do all your focusing exercises with your mastery minute uh, and, and your journaling. Okay, let's go to buffer days because these are important days. Buffer days set up the other two days. Okay, the trading trading education you do on buffer days. Okay, and that's that's a little tough to do. Now, now some may say to me, well, when I'm done with my trading at night or during the day, and it's uh, three o'clock in the afternoon, if you're trading the S and P um, E minis, maybe you're you're stopping at 4:15 or, uh, or or whatever. Uh, you you've got the rest of the night. You'd like to spend that time doing your uh, doing your education. Uh, that's okay, uh, but I'd like to see you at least put a little bit of time, maybe an hour's time between when you when you stop your trading and you're you're starting your education. You need to you need to separate the two actions in your head. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little bit of an out here. But I myself, I save all of my trading plan changes and all my education really for the weekend, and I'm all about doing the things to execute my trading plan during the week. But again, that's, that's up to you. I gave you a little bit of out there because I, I gave myself an out when I, when I started using this trading, uh, this trading system, so the time management system. Okay, so trading education, trading plan review. Okay, I think uh, don't need to say too much about that. Trading plan adjustment if necessary. So again, all your action, other than your trading, your actual trading, and taking total time off, is done through your done on buffer days. Okay, and also this is the, this is the time that you want to train your mind to shore up mental strengths in five key 
core competencies. Okay, and these, this, if you don't write it down anything else, write these five core competencies down. Focus, strength to pull the trigger, patience, overcoming losses, and overcoming fear and greed. Okay? Focus, strength to pull the trigger, patience, overcoming losses, and overcoming fear and greed. These are your primary enemies when it comes to the mental and emotional issues of trading. And the best way to train your mind, I believe, uh, is using subconscious training. This is what, uh, what we do at the Discipline Trader. And um, you can do it on your own, uh, but, uh, or you can use what we have to offer you. But in any way that you do it, uh, you need to do this. And the way you do this is to take deep breaths. You need to get yourself in an alpha brainwave state. And to do that, you need to take a series of deep breaths, four or five deep breaths, sit in a relaxed state, and then play an audio back to yourself, okay? And as you, as you close your eyes in the, after the fourth or fifth breath, you play an audio back to yourself that has positive statements for what you want to do as a trader. I'm a wise and disciplined trader. I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. I take every trading signal that my trading plan gives me, and I take that signal without a hesitation. I understand, I understand that, that following my trading plan without hesitation helps me uh, and my results as a trader. I'm committed, I'm committed, and I am a wise and disciplined trader, and I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. So these kinds of statements. Now, we have, um, we have a particular uh, in our course, we give a particular uh, set of suggestions like this that we know have worked over the 12, 13 years that we've been helping traders with it. So we've adjusted it really for perfection. But you don't have to be perfect in any of these suggestions in order to get good results from it. Uh, the, the most important thing that you need to do is, is not use any in the negative words. I'm, you know, I'm not going to miss any trades is not a kind of statement that you're going to make because your subconscious mind doesn't understand that. Your subconscious mind uh, will imprint whatever you put into it if you put yourself in an alpha brainwave state. And the alpha brainwave state is the state of relaxation that I just talked about getting to by relaxing yourself and taking a few deep breaths in and out. Okay? So uh, I don't want to spend too much more time on that only to say that, that look up subconscious training and what that's about. Look up what we do at the Discipline Trader. Uh, again, if you go to the disciplinetrader.com, you're going to um, get the offer for the Mastery Minutes. So go ahead and get that. This is those, those vitamins we talked about, mental vitamins that you can use during your focus days and right before you start trading and right after your journal. Okay? And then uh, you're working on your, mental, your core mental state, the, the, the way your subconscious mind works. You see, if you are, is, is there anybody out there? L let me just say this to you. Uh, is there anybody out there that's having trouble taking every signal that their trading plan gives them without hesitation? Is anybody having a any trouble with that? Do you find yourself slipping? Okay. I see a, a bunch of yeses. I appreciate your honesty. What's happening is that you, your sub uh, has a, a, a dominant neural pathway that is served, that has you served in a positive way by what it's saying. Let me, let me give you, it, I can always tell what a trader believes is true by their, the way they act. So if you're not taking every trade, then it means that you're not confident in your trading plan. Okay? It may seem simple on the outside, but because you're not confident in your trading plan, you're hesitate, you hesitate on, on taking your signals. Okay? You got to go back and, 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 and make sure that your trading plan has all the elements that you're going to be able to be confident with. That's, th that said, now you're, it's probably true that your trading plan already has that element, and you're creating this self-doubt because of other fears and problems like you don't want to lose. Or, uh, but your, your, your conscious mind is what makes the decision of whether to take that trade or not. But your con when, so that when you get a, a stimulus from your trading plan, take this trade. You, the trigger is here. The market is reversed. Take go long, and and you don't do it. That is your conscious mind making the decision not to take the trade. 
but your conscious mind is making that decision based on what your subconscious mind believes is true for you. Now, you may want to say, well, why would I think that not taking the trade is not good for me? I know I should be following my trading plan. Because, and the answer to that is that because you may have had a situation, three or four losses in a row, say that you're in that situation now when, you're not t- when you find yourself not taking this trade, and when you took that fourth trade, you only lost again. You shouldn't have taken it. That put, what that did was create a neural pathway that said, after three trades, I better be very careful because look what happened. And when, you, when you're very disappointed in yourself in a situation like that and you're, you, you get highly emotional, and the, there is a, a, a more of a depth to that neuro pathway, okay? So, so if you have enough of these kinds of situations, fearful situations, you develop enough neuro pathways with the message, be careful after two or three losses, okay? Be careful, and that becomes a neuro net. It becomes your dominant set of, of pathways so that when you get the stimulus, your, your conscious mind will check with the, with the subconscious mind believes is true for you, and in the case of the situation I just talked about, you'll hesitate on the trade because your dominant neural net is saying that you need to be careful. So what you need to do is combat that by, by, by creating neural pathways that serve you as a trader. And you do that when you, are, when you, when you do the mental training that I'm talking about, the subconscious training that I described, as you, as you sit in one place, relax, take four or five deep breaths, close your eyes, and then feed yourself audio um, statements of, of what you need to be as a trader in a positive first-person way, okay? So as you and, – and, and if we feed our brain in a, in a subcon in a, um, in a alpha brainwave state, uh, then you will start creating these neural pathways. And if you, if you just do this for four, five, six, eight, really the number is eight that I find with traders, even, even the most insecure trader in a particular area, by the eighth repetition of this particular procedure, you've built enough neural pathways to have that be now the dominant neural net so that when you get the same stimulus to take that trade after two losses or three losses, then now you're taking it with ease without hesitation because now your conscious mind is looking for the neural pathway, for the neural net that's dominant based on the response to that stimulus, and now it's something that uh, serves you as a trader because you've now you've now been proactive in trading your mind and creating a a, a positive sense. Um, this, this is all science. I'm not making this stuff up. This is the way people have um, um, have have operated since the beginning of time. And, uh, so this is a process that works. Okay, we've uh, spent a little bit more time on that, but it's very important. So we have the focus days where you're making your trades, the buffer days. Uh, focus days, you're making your trades, you're, you're doing mental and emotional work, but for the moment. And that is you're motivating yourself with, with the mastery, with something like the Mastery Minutes. If you don't have it, the DisciplineTrader.com, uh, that's the first thing we offer. Uh, it's a free download for you. Um, free access to that, and then uh, training your mind uh, on buffer days is something that you want to do because that takes a little time, and uh, but it's very very easy to do. You don't want to mix those two efforts up. Okay, let's get um, let, let's um, for, let's see forum participation. I threw that in there uh, also on buffer days because a lot of you like to uh, go to forums and see what's going on, see what's hot. Um, you, you've got you can't do that during your trading. Uh, I don't even I don't do that during the week. I do that only on the weekends. I, I, I keep my buffer days to Friday and Saturday, and, um, and I take at least – sometimes I only have one buffer day. Really, I only have one buffer day these days, and that's Friday. Saturday and Sunday, I take off as free days. Clean up the message, journaling, trading journal stats. Again, uh, that's where I look at my monthly statements and so on uh, on buffer days and any technical issues that I have if I'm loading a new platform. Or, um, or creating a new course for traders or whatever, that kind of thing I'm, I do on my buffer days, of course. Uh, I use um, long-term trend and cycle di- discoveries. I, again, I, I, I tend to look at long-term situations when I trade, and I'll be demonstrating my trading um, in an upcoming event that will be happening soon. If, you, if, um, if you're interested in seeing me apply my, uh, my mental and emotional uh, 
applications, really. And I mean, I'll be journaling live. I'll be doing my – you'll be seeing a day in the life for a couple of weeks, a day in the life of me trading for a few hours a day. You'll see exactly how I go through my mental training. You'll see exactly how I go through uh, the, the, um, the, the one-minute uh, motivating uh, mastery minutes. You'll see how I trade through – uh, I, I use three simple trading plans that I'm going to give you in this particular event. Uh, I'm, so if you go to the simpletradingplans.com, if you go to simpletradingplans.com, get on that list. I'll keep you posted on when that's going to be. It's, it's likely going to be uh, sometime in April, uh, late April. So uh, get on that list, and I'll, I'll keep you notified. But this, uh, so that, that's uh, simpletradingplans.com, where it's – Really, I, I'm actually demonstrating live the way I trade. It's for any size account. Uh, it's I tend to – I trade almost like a beginner trades, believe it or not, uh, from the standpoint of keeping everything simple. I believe that trading shouldn't be a complicated thing and that a lot of these lines on the chart that some traders have, and, you know, God bless them if they're, they're, they're successful doing it. And, and, but for me, I need a clean chart. I need a couple of indicators. And that's it. And and I've I've learned that you can be just as successful, if not more, operating a simple trading plan, and spending an equal time on the mental and emotional issues while you're executing your plan, uh, doing them all together. I just want to show you the way I do it. I, I haven't done it in 13 years of being online with you, uh, so I've decided to uh, to let it loose and. Um, and actually show you how I trade live. And then, of course, we'll get all the recordings uh, of all of that. We'll do all the summaries and so on. But I want you to be there live for those who, who, who've never seen the discipline trade to trade uh, because nobody really has yet. So you're going to be able to um, really live with me for a couple of weeks and watch. Uh, I'll give you the trading, the three simple trading plans that I use, and then you'll, you can uh, trade along with me if you want in any market. Okay. So, um, again, another note on buffer days. Narrowing down potential three or four market stocks to trade on focus days. So again, buffer days are all about preparation for your uh, for your actual focus days of your trading. Let's get to free days, and then I'll take questions after this. So no trading on free days. In fact, no thinking about the market. No CNBC. No Fox. Um, unless they have some crazy guests late at night. But no no trading on free days. The idea is that you need to liberate your mind because when you when you liberate your mind of all thoughts trading and and I don't mean half the day. Free days need to be the whole day. 24 hours as as Dan Sullivan says to us as entrepreneurs, midnight to midnight. The the more you can get into this, the more you can make even if it's just one day on a Sunday, you know, you, you want to spend it with your family. There needs to be a balance in your life. Trading can't be your life. This is this is where real problems start. Where you where where you're happy, you're you're only happy when you're winning, and you're only and you're sad when you're losing. But uh, you should you need to be in control of your trading and your and and the way you are as a human being. And the problem with with uh, there's so much input and right and wrong and mixing up me as a person with me as a trader that free days become probably the most important element of this time uh, system. So focus days are the days you, you're there executing your trading, nothing else, okay? And any prep that you're doing are, is prep to, to stay focused, whether it's the mastery minutes or the journaling. It's to, you're doing those exercises to be focused on the, on the moment's events, and that moment event is, is your actual trading. Buffer days are days where you're planning – uh, you're, 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 you're looking at cycles. You're looking at stocks you may want to look at uh, uh, and execute during your focus days. But also what I didn't mention about buffer days, and I really should have, is that they're also meant to prepare for free days. If you want to – I went to a baseball game the other day for last week for my birthday, and so um, took that whole day off as a free day. And, uh, you know, but we had to buy tickets for it, and we had to, you know, arrange a hotel um, for where, where they, uh, the Marlins would training for spring trading, all of that was done on, on my buffer days, okay? So buffer days are there to, to support your free days and focus days, okay? So this way on your free day, all you're doing is having a good time. Your mind is free. You're enjoying your family. You're not thinking about trading, 
Okay, very, very important. Again, could be what happens in, in the end is you find up, you wind up seeing that the free days are not only very enjoyable, of course, but you, 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 you empower yourself as a human being. You start to get the balance that trading is not all about uh, – being a trader is not all about thinking about the market every day. Being a trader is, about, is being a well-rounded person. No education. I, I don't do any education at all, on my, and you shouldn't either. On my, if I read a book, it's a novel or a biography, and it's not about a trader. <laughs> okay, so no trading. No education on the free days. No reading, trading books or articles. I guess I want to make a point of that. Um, you know, in my bathroom, I have a certain area for uh, where I have reading material. That I got to stay away from my articles on and books on that. So it, it totally disconnecting from tradings. It's very, very important. Uh, you'll what, what what happens is that you'll enhance your creativity and your ability to create results. So. Uh, um, a trader is all about staying balanced, and I think that that and I do a whole class and a whole uh, process, and we'll be talking about this in the uh, simple trading plans because while we're waiting for setups, there's a lot of time to talk and talk about some of the things that that I've seen uh, as important to being successful over three decades of trading. And um, you know, I just heard Tom Busby talk before this, and uh, you know, you just can tell. Uh, that that uh, you know becomes second nature doing the right things at the right time and 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 I know Tom Tom has a great balance in his life Fausto although you know with all of his high energetic uh, pro his processes I mean you've never known Fausto to be anything but to plugged in but Fausto tremendous family man uh, he just has a terrific balance and I I think that that's what I like about this crowd that I hang out with. Um, there's a particular balance. We can get along as friends, but we can also talk as traders when we need to. And we've learned to also separate those kinds of conversations when we have them. When Fausto and I talk on the weekend, we don't talk about uh, we don't talk about trading. We talk about you know family. We talk about uh, Gino Vanelli. We talk about movies. We talk about crazy stuff. But we don't talk about trading because we know that it, to to achieve the balance, to really be a top-notch, long-term marathon trader, you need your off time. And that's the first thing we tend to cut out. So uh, I, I think it's very, very um, important. I see. Uh, let me. See, I'm going to start taking questions here, but let me first just give you an idea of the kind of balance that I'm talking about: focus days, buffer days, free days. Three focus days, two buffer days, and two free days. That's a pretty good balance. Now a lot of you are trading uh, four and five days out of the week. Uh, th then you you may look like four days of focus days, uh, two day two buffer days and one free day. Again, in the beginning you can separate your buffer and focus or your free and focus. But you, I, I like to see you take full free days. You really don't want to tr you know take the afternoon off, and it's not enough time to free your mind. Um, so you want to keep those free days free. You can go ahead and mix focus and buffer days, but the free days, you need to try to be as pure as you can. I mean, go ahead and take a night off, but you can't count it as a free day or a half a free day. No such thing. Okay, so uh, for an active type trader, that's where I usually wind up, somewhere, somewhere in, in here in the 4-2-1 category of 4-1-2. As I mentioned, my, my, my thing for the last couple of years has been four trading days, one buffer day, and two uh, free days. Now, as a beginner trader, you may need more buffer days because you're still in the learning process. But I'm going to tell you that that it's important to it, it, it's, it's important to, to to still have your free days because there's a lot of motions around your early trading experiences and your focus days. You're going to be learning plenty on your focus days, so don't look to take in too much as a beginner. We're going to be talking a lot about that in um, uh, the um, at the uh, simple trading simple trading plans .com when we take out when I when I talk for those when I trade live for those two weeks so um, and another would be a position trader who isn't looking at the market uh, you may have two focus days two buffer days and three days off okay uh, you know as I move into uh, into the later years uh, uh, since I'm I'm living to 120 being 65 is not uh, is not that uh, not that I still have 55 years left of trading. So uh, 
but I see myself, I do a lot, a lot of position trading, even though I do still do plenty of day trading where I'm in and out in the same day. So just to kind of give you a, a little bit of guidance on where you want to may, may want to put your focus buffer and free days. Okay, let's, uh, let's take any questions. I think we may, I may have, uh, which days are best for trading? Uh, well, I take, I take Fridays off. Um, and I th which days are best for trading? I love Monday. I love Mondays after a strong Friday. Um, what I and and I think guys like Tom Butts, we have uh, uh, be, he probably mentioned this. I know it's in this artillery because I think anybody that's traded a long time knows that. For instance, is if the S and P ends uh, ends Friday on a weekly high, on the highs of the week, then Monday is very likely to have a strong beginning to it the first couple of hours. So I like to look to trade from the long side uh, if the, uh, the uh, E-mini contract uh, ended on the weekly high on Friday. Even though I haven't been trading Friday, I check and I take a look. Um, and same with the low. If, 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 if we've been trading on the, uh, on, the, on the low side, if we ended on the weekly low on Friday, then look to trade from the short side early on Monday. What's interesting is that you've got to be careful about that because it's uh, many times it doesn't last all day. Uh, this is not uh, something that's rocket science. Um, but w there is a physical reason why it happens. Um, people, people who, for instance, if the market is, is lower uh, all week and ends on the low on Friday, Many people over the weekend are looking at their statements to see how much they lose. They, they start to panic, and they're early sellers on Monday. So there's, there are there are technical reasons why it's not all it's a, it's emotion. The selling is emotional, but once that selling is used up, you got to get back, the market gets back to fat more fact than it does uh, emotion, and the uh, market can easily uh, return to a more powerful state. So um, best days to trade, I think, are I like Mondays. I like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Uh, I take off Friday because it's sometimes can give me that extra free day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I, I like to take weekends off if I can. So that's just, again, you, um, you can um, do it any way you want. So let's, uh, I'm going to go back to these questions here. Do people only trade three or even four days a week versus five that are open? I do, uh, and, I, and this is only the last, well, maybe 10 years. Uh, but I used to trade every day. I just found that, that I put my balance before opportunity, you know, before having more opportunities than I even needed. I mean, there's always going to be trades. Um, and, and trading an extra day doesn't mean it's going to be an extra winning day that you're cutting out if you don't take that fourth or fifth day of trading. I find that you're better off t trading a lesser amounts and being focused during that period of time than you are uh, just trading as many times. But you're going to wind up uh, finding your own balance in that. Uh, let's see. Have you worked with a studied Van Thorn? Van Thorn, great. Uh, sure, uh, I've met him several times. We've talked, and, and um, you know his stuff is stuff that I read uh, when I was coming up as a trader. And and, uh, and it's true of um, um, a number. You know, Mark Douglas. Uh, he has a book called Discipline Trader, an excellent book. Uh, one of the best books that I've seen on the market was, was Jake Bernstein's book. It may be out of print, but if you can find a copy of Investor's Quotient, Investor's Quotient, that book by Jake Bernstein is probably that's my favorite of all. But all of these, uh, all of these mentors are good. The, 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 what they're missing, I found, and why I leaped into the business, is because you can't learn. You can only learn what you should be doing from a book. There are very few. Very, very, very little information on how to actually turn around the thought patterns in the way you think, so that you, your subconscious mind uh, can, can hold the beliefs that are true for you that serve you as a trader, not serve your fear as a trader. So I've, I've dedicated uh, the last 12 years at thedisciplinetrader.com to, uh, to, to bring forth what you need as far as tools to train your mind uh, to, to have your uh, response to the uh, to the uh, stimulus to be responses that serve you as a trader. Okay, um, let's see. I'm not sticking. If I'm not sticking to trading every day, I have a feeling I'm sloppy in the business. If I'm not sticking to trading every day, I have a feeling that I'm sloppy in this business. Uh, 
Yes. Well, again, see, I, I said, you said it well. This is a this is uh, this is a, the key word here being fear. Fear is really something that we put on uh, ourselves. And um, you know, I'm I'm not in in with you in a room. But I think if, we, if I question you a few times, uh, you, you would become you, you'd be able to identify where that that fear came from. But when you do subconscious training, when you're putting into your mind the positive thoughts. Uh, you don't really have to actually discover why your current neural net is not serving you and why you're holding that fear. Because uh, that's what a psycho psychologist would do, uh, spend years with you going back into your past and finding out why you think like you think. But you're better off understanding the science of how the brain works, and that's to move your conscious mind aside, and that's why you take those deep breaths and get into an alpha brainwave state so, you, so that you can contribute new neural pathways, messages with new neural pathways to your subconscious mind uh, without interference by your conscious mind. And that's why you take those deep breaths to get yourself in an alpha brainwave state. So um, all of those books are they're very good and all of the – uh, Van Tharp and, and everybody who writes those books with the kind of intention and knowledge that they have, it's all good, it's all good information, but it becomes very hard to implement because you're still operating and making the decisions based on, on neural nets that are not serving you as a trader that hold those fears. So you need to slap yourself in the face and, uh, and get on to the science of what this is all about. So that's what I've kind of dedicated my, um, where did you learn the discipline you follow? Well, I've learned it uh, some of them from the school of hard knocks, but I happen to be married to probably the premier uh, hypnotist in southeast United States, my wife Tisha, uh, who is uh, who. Since we've um, we, this, our business has accelerated on the web the last uh, um, eight or ten years. She's dropped her practice and now works with me in helping traders. But th the idea here is that um, uh, you know I was a I worked for Payne Weber. I, I, I ran a very large option firm in the 80s. I've been trading on my own. I was a, C, a commodity trading advisor, running several million dollars in a, uh, for people. But I, I'm, I'm now at the point where where I can trade. I, I have total confidence, and I've experienced it for years now, where, where I know what I can do as far as a trader. Now I'm out here helping people on, on what I believe is the most um, – ignored area of trading and while it and at the same time the most important part of trading and that's the mental and emotional part and that's why I want to show you what I do at, uh, at, at simple trading plans to show you how I work in the mental and emotional uh, uh, juxtapositioning to my trading before after I trade and, and the kind of self-talk that I give myself during the trading kind of watch me do your thing my thing Let's see how you stay away from distraction Twitter chat room if they're very attractive and suck you in. Well, you know, I'm, I, I, I can't twist your arm, but you've got to shut that stuff off. Uh, I mean, you, you've got to, uh, you know, this is just a, uh, this is, you know, for you, maybe you want to shut off one thing at a time. I know people that can't sleep without a TV on, you know. So uh, that's, and my, my brother's one of those people. I, I can never understand why that is. Uh, I think maybe if they, uh, if somebody got, got shut it off in the beginning, beginning or maybe put it on a timer where it's off for an hour. I think you've got to wean yourself off. So shut off the chat room first. Chat room, definitely shut the chat rooms off first. Shut off Twitter next. And, uh, you know, and, and, and put it, you know, I, I don't even, I don't trade that listen to rock music when they trade. I got to have silence, you know. So, uh, I, and I know some very successful traders that listen to all kinds of music, uh, bar Baroque music. Um, so, do your thing, but but know that what you're putting in your mind during your trading is affecting your trading. Okay. Uh, can you can you wife hypnotize us to remember everything we learned? Uh, yes, you could probably hypnotize you to, to for just about anything as long as you that's what you want. The, the, the thing about hypnosis, you can't uh, nobody can be forced to do something that they normally uh, or don't want to do. Or, or, or so you know. Yes, but um, very helpful. I will thank you, uh, Kay Young. Uh, ethically, I feel trading is not good because you make money when other people lose. What do you do? That's an interesting point. Well, you're you're only you're you're give, here's what I do, and, and here's here's your answer, Hero. Uh, you're teaching them lessons. I mean, Hero, you used to be. I think you said Hero. Yes, that's who wrote it. Hero Fias. Fias. Uh, 
I, I used to be the guy that they were taking the money from, okay? I didn't feel good about that. I used to hate the people that were winning. Whenever I heard anybody on TV winning, I'd always wish that they would lose just like me. You know, I mean, you can get into that kind of thing, but what happens is when you take the winning and, and, and the other guy is the loser, I feel very good about teaching them the same lesson that I learned. Plus, I always go back to the, the thing that we as traders serve a primary importance in the market, and that's supply and liquidity. So you've got, to, you've got to understand that you serve a primary function as a speculator, and that is teaching those that are learning to be good traders lessons by allowing them to lose and win at their own discretion. And while you are while you doing the things to learn and win consistently, uh, and also by uh, by the mathematical on uh, mathematical terms where you're supplying liquidity to the market. I mean, without you and I, people couldn't get in and out as as they do. So that's how I handle it. I hope that helps you, Fred. Uh, do you listen to music when you're in the trade? Do you? Yeah, I day trade. That's all I do. Well, I don't only do my retirement accounts have longer term. Uh, stuff in it, but I, uh, from the day to, well, my, my, my simple trading plans that I, that I'll be giving you are all day trade. We're out by the end of the day. So, um, let's see, I hate to believe that I've learned, I've, I had that belief until I learned what the purpose of trading is, providing liquidity. Oh, there you go. Well, somebody agrees with me. Thank you, Karen. Um, what are, what are your thoughts about EFT? Love EFT. Uh, in fact, if you, um, if you go to, if you go to YouTube, well, no, go to the disciplinetrader.com and look at the video. There's a section with all the videos, okay? Go to, I, I've made a hundred and, I think I just recorded Saturday today, just play the, the 141st weekly four-minute drill that I've done. And uh, if you go to the disciplinetrader.com and click on uh, the video tab on the top, you'll see all the videos. Look for the one with my wife's face on it. There's a few that she's done. One of them was on EFT for traders, okay? What do I think about it? I think it's tremendous. I think it's crazy good. So um, emotional freedom technique really is, uh, is, a, is, a, is the um, successor to thought field therapy, uh, TFT. TFT was ca taught by a guy named uh, uh, Callahan, uh, Dr. Callahan. Dr. Callahan was charging twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 to teach this tapping, they also call it the tapping solution. Uh, he, he had a very involved ag algorithms on where to tap your, um, uh, your um, what, are the po what, are they what are those points called, the Chinese uh, acupuncture and acupressure points uh, in a certain rotation and a certain, in a certain sequence and a certain number of times. But, uh, you know, those, that were ta those doctors that were taking his course just felt this was too good to, uh, to just keep to doctors because people can perform TFT on themselves. So uh, a, a couple of them, uh, Nikosi and others, streamlined the process so that it can be easily done by guys like you and I, uh, guys and gals like you and I, and, and um, that's where um, the EEFT was born, Emotional Freedom Technique. You can also find it on the tapping solution. But watch my wife's version of it. Just go to the discipline trade, click on videos, scroll through all the videos, and, and look for, there's only three or four my wife uh, did with me on those, So and those were on the uh, EFT. Okay. Very good presentation. Thanks for the capital letters. Appreciate that. Good concepts. I, you know, this is all the, the, that I like to talk about because this is really what's missing. You need to feel good about yourself as a trader and stay balanced. Okay. We're, 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 we've got about four minutes left. Any final questions that I missed? Uh, I see. Thanks to Educational Enlightening. Thanks for sharing your experience. For day traders, uh, what should we do on focus days when we're waiting uh, for the trade, for the right trade. Now, those are the days um, I like to tell beginners to to treat your um, to treat your uh, practice, your demo trading like real trading, and uh, those. So you be doing your demo trading on focus days. Um, have to be logged into the disciplinetrader.com. Don't know what that means, but um, just uh, go to the discipline trader. Listen, if you go to the discipline trader.com, um, you'll be able to get access to the 25 mastery minutes. So that, that's really fun. And I think you really like them. I, I, um, I had fun recording them. We're recording some more to add, but uh, there's 25 of them now. And of course, if you'd like to hear more about 
uh, and I'm not going to make this crazy expense. It's going to be suitable for everybody where we can, where you can kind of watch me do my mental and emotional thing while I'm trading, before I trade, after I trade, during my trade. It's going to be summaries of all of that, and uh, you'll be able to be part of that. Uh, witness it live, or, or if, you, if, uh, if you're not there uh, for it live, you'll get all the recordings and so on. So um, we're going to really going to have a lot of fun. So go to Simple Trading Plans. Get on that VIP list so that I can tell you when it's going to happen, and um, there's no, no obligation there. Just put you on an informational uh, process there. Okay, how many trading systems? Uh, can a trader follow? Well, you know, uh, I think that most traders have two or three systems that they use, but then have um, four or five triggers that uh, that they can use. For instance, I use a, I, I, a lot of my triggers are from um, candlestick charts, the ch candlestick formation, the hammer, uh, the shooting star. These are very strong. Reversal formations if they happen at the at the end of a uh, at the end of a run. Uh, however, uh, engulfing pattern is also very uh, uh, engulfing pattern on the top of the bottom of a run is also a very strong uh, reversal signal. So I don't know if you call you know I call that those are those are different elements within the same trading system. Uh, so I use, and, and I'll be sharing the simple trading plan, the simple trading plan, the three basic triggers that I use and why I use them. And then we'll, you'll watch me use them. And uh, I'm in and out of markets, uh, sometimes very quickly, and very as, as Tom Busby said before me, I, I agree with him, and, and most traders that are successful for a long time will agree that the most important thing is limiting your risk. So we limit our risk, and that's what we do up front. And then we look to uh, safely expand our take after that. But I try to capture as much as I can uh, before uh, I get out of the position. I always enjoyed learning sessions. Uh, this is, I guess, uh, for um, Fausto, uh, who I've always, you know, anytime Fausto asks me to speak, I mean, I, I, I'm, I am, you don't hear me much, I'm pretty particular, but when Fausto asks, I come because I, I just find, I find people are listening, and I do think they care about, you know, really care. And I don't mean not give, just not give it lift service, but really care about what may, what will make them a successful trader. So I'm very happy to be able to present what I presented today. So thank you, it's, thank you everybody, for being here. Thank you, Pastor, again, for inviting me. And uh, everybody have a great weekend. And take a free day tomorrow. Sunday's a free day. Thanks, Pastor. And thank you very much, Norman, for that great presentation. Like I said, uh, listen, I learned a lot listening to Norman, and you know, and just like Norman just mentioned earlier, you know, um, always like to have Norman on. And Norman, uh, you know, it's very difficult to always find Norman to come on in any of these speaking, but he likes to come on with people that that do care, and that's why we're all here. Because when it comes to trading, we all care about each other, and not only that, but all the speakers here care about it. You know, we're very, very, very big. Um, we love what we do. We have a passion what we do. Um, it's one of the things that help all of you guys become very, very successful when it comes to trading. And, um, you know, we want you to be successful. And every single speaker here, I know you've learned several things from each one of the speakers here, but just keep in mind, we are here, you know, as much as we want to give you a little sample of what it's like to be as a, as a trader, we all know that every single one of you can do exactly what we've done because we've been there. We've done that. You know, and I just want to kind of, um, if anyone has any questions for me, because I'm going to talk for about five more minutes before we close out the meeting, I uh, just want to kind of talk about a couple of things uh, that I've learned today, regardless of some of the speakers I want to kind of bring up. Uh, first of all, I'd like to talk about the simple charts. Now, you've seen that from every speaker here today, we've talked about how to keep things as simple charts. Um, you know, Norman brought it up, Tom Busby brought it up, um, even, you know, Andrew Keene was talking about it. Another thing that, that I like, that I kind of preach in my classes, actually what Norman brought up, is uh, a free day and no trading day. You know, listen, enjoy your life. This is what it's all about. That's why this is the greatest job in the world. There's no reason to sit here all day and worry about trading. I always tell every one of my students, and I find that some of my speakers kind of use the same uh, same uh, um, uh, same line or, or same uh, slogan that I use. Ten percent of your time is spent on trading. Ninety percent of your time is spent on education. So, and once you've learned, 
the 90%, just think about it. All you're going to be spending is 10% of your time, and the rest of the day is going to be just whatever you enjoy what to do. You know, we treat trading like a job. And um, once again, like he was mentioning, everybody, was, you know, you could see we all run a professional trading room. Uh, we all want you to learn from each one of us. I'll tell you again if everybody wants to join my trading room, um, if you want to join up. But I know Norman brought it up and Tom Busby brought it up and Andrew and Price. I mean, we all run a professional trading room. But once again, you got to know when to shut it off. You know, I kick my students out in my class. I says, guys, you made money in plug today. What are you doing? Get out of here. Go home. Go, go, go watch a matinee or something. You know, I mean, get your mind clear. Don't get overwhelmed and, and sit there and try to figure it out. Don't think about trading. You don't have to. You're supposed to be focused in trading when you're supposed to. And when you're supposed to focus on trading, there's that short period of time when you do it and when you're not to do it. Now, a couple of other things that some of you guys also brought up being in here, uh, you were mentioning a little bit about um, how we're going to be able to see the recordings. Well, um, Cybertrain University has just launched their new website, our new website. We've been doing this for two years, and you'll notice it's a lot simpler, a lot easier. The recordings will be on your dashboard, so when you're a subscriber of Cybertrain University, you'll see all your free lessons and all the recordings of the classes and also upcoming events. So everything is there for you, um, all the lesson planners, all the, all the tests, all the recordings, everything that you will need um, here at the Cyber Expo. All right, now um, just to also just give you guys a reminder, uh, last minute thing, if you guys want to join me starting on Monday, um, I'm giving away two weeks, not one week, but two weeks of my trading room where you could trade side by side with me for $19. It's usually a one week, but we're throwing an extra two weeks for all of you that want to join us. Feel free to come in and watch me trade. And you know what? One thing that every speaker here is going to probably mention to you and something very important. And I, I, I got this from Andrew Keene. You know, Andrew was telling you that, you know, he's, he, he, he's doing phenomenal this, this year. He doubled his, his, uh, his account. But he's, you know, he got beat up the last couple of days. And let me explain something to you that's very, very important that every one of us are going to teach you. Don't judge us by our winners. Everyone brags how much money they make. Judge us by our losers. Because the hardest thing to do when it comes to trading is controlling losses. And that, and if you don't know how to control loss, and you don't know how not to be so emotional, and if you know, if you learn how to actually go out there and know how to walk away, then you'll see how we have such thick skin to be a, and do a career and come to trading. Because once again, I say this and I'll repeat it a thousand times over: trading is the best job in the world. And why is that? You are you're your own boss. You could do this anywhere in the world. We all want to start up our own business. Well, this is a business. You can, if you don't like it, you can just close your money out tomorrow and just take brokerage firm and give me back my check. You don't have to worry about selling and getting out of leases and, and product. You know, um, you're all, you know, there's a lot of you here that probably on Social Security that want to make a couple hundred bucks a day. Maybe now you can start trading your IRA. Uh, maybe some of you too overqualified to go back to work. You know what? Try it out. Try every speaker here, what they have to offer, and I can guarantee all of you, you will, every single one of you are going to learn something. You are not going to waste your time um, from anyone here that you've learned a little something from somebody. And you know what? Try everything from everyone else. Just try a little bit. Uh, before we go, i got about two, three minutes. Any last-minute questions that I could probably a uh, answer for myself? Uh, Richard, which company is best to pre perform? trading stocks or day trading. Um, you know, Richard, that is an excellent question. You know what, Richard? I tell all my students this. Um, on our website, there's an area where it says uh, brokerage request. Is that There's a questionnaire. Every single one of you, Richard, are a are case-by-case basis. Some brokerage firms are better than others. If you're an option trader, there's, this is a great brokerage firm. If you're an options in stock, well, that one I wouldn't recommend you know, this one is better for you. But before you worry about opening a brokerage account, why don't you worry about seeing if you could trade and if this is for you or not.
you know, you don't put the horse uh, before the carriage. You know, you don't throw your kid in a car if you never taught him how to drive. And we all look at you guys as our, our children, and we're your parents, and we just want to do the right thing for you. Uh, no, Judy, thank you very much for the invite. Thank you very much. I'm glad. Thank you, Judy. Uh, Judy's just applauding all the speakers, including myself, for hosting this event. And once again, we do these events every um, – we're planning on having another one that's starting in June. So look forward to come and visit us there. And uh, always be in touch with Cybertree University. We'll get you ready for that. I, I trade already, but I want your, your opinion. Uh, once again, Richard, it's, if, if, it's, um, if it's stock trading, you know what I mean, specific stocks trading, you know, like I said, Rich, take my email address. It's right there on the screen. Why don't you send me an email? You know what it is? I do education for over 50 brokerage firms all over the world, so I show no favoritism. I need to know a little bit about you first before I give you that, give you that recommendation. But I want to say one because it could be misconstrued something different. Thank you very much, Carrie. I appreciate it. Okay? Anyone else?